Concrete Concrete Modeling Learning Path. Now that we have our setup complete, let's verify that we are in appropriate workflow in the drop down in the upper left corner of the screen. When we're in the proper workflow, it's worth noting that this file is provided with grid lines to base our structure on. We just need to open the level display. Therein, we will look for grid lines level and click on it to activate it. Let us now select the top view in the top left corner of the view window. Now we can select the column tool from the ribbon and we will be placing four types of columns starting with type A. So let us input the appropriate dimensions which is width of one foot and four inches and depth which is equal to width. We will also verify the options and insertion point. The material and level can remain as they are. The display class shall be nine cast in place column. The area class is two level one. And the description is cast in place column. We'll click on insert shape on multiple lines icon. In this window, let's now specify the start and end height of our columns. So start height will be zero and the end height will be 15 feet. There are multiple ways to place columns, but let's select the third one by fencing over intersecting axes. Now we can right click to accept displacement. And now in order to prevent changes to just placed columns, we need to accept shape by clicking on this icon. The dimensions can now be changed to column type B, so width one foot four inches and depth of two feet. We can place them in appropriate locations as before. After accepting those, B-type columns at the D2 and the D3 locations can be placed with different starting height of 3 feet. Now, the shapes need to be accepted. And we can continue with C-type columns. They have the same dimensions as B-type and start height of zero feet. And we will place them in their appropriate locations and rotate them 90 degrees afterwards. With column window open, let us change the rotation angle on the right to 90 degrees. Now accept the shape and repeat the placement of two by two feet square D-type columns at their appropriate locations. With column placement done, we can move on to beam placement. First, let us verify that we have prostructure snaps on, and we can also activate multi-point snaps. Open the beam tool from the ribbon. We will place three types of beams. First, A type, which is one foot and four inches wide and two and a half feet deep. The display class is 10 cast in place beam. The area class is five level four. And the description is cast in place beam.
We will now place the beam by selecting two points on the columns. After placement, we can still rotate the beam by right-clicking, and to accept rotation, left-click and right-click to go back to Beam menu. Now accept the shape and change the dimensions to B-type, so 1 foot 4 inches wide and 2 feet deep. Repeat the placement process for B-type beams in their appropriate locations. With B-type beams complete, accept the shape, modify the dimensions to C-type, so 1 foot and 4 inches wide, 2 feet 8 inches deep, and repeat the placement process for the remaining 4 beams. After you're done, your model should look something like this. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.